Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome to Fahrenheit. This is an old game that was remastered. I'm not sure how long ago, but this game was like one of the first game of multiple choice that I played, and it brings back a lot of memories. I, I remember reading about it, I think, in a magazine, and I thought, this game looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go for a new movie. I'm not going to do the tutorial. Basically, I just ran it just to see if it is all working properly and if I can record properly, and I can. So it is all good. So yes, here we go. The game is basically about a guy who murders someone without him knowing, because it wasn't him that done it, if you know what I mean. You'll Things see what I mean. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what yeah. it seems to be. E I used to be just like you. Oh, really? I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth. It does. And you don't have any choice. And you don't have any teeth left. The way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. He... Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Oh, there we go, that's one hell of an intro. What the hell was that? The sound, that, what? It's like a plastic right bag here. really Where else whizzing past happen? really fast. New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard Destiny chose for the last big game. Alright, calm down. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. In a pawn world. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. Oh, here we go then. So a guy just, just, just doing that at a urinal, just stood there, not even doing anything. He's not even weeing. He just does it in his spare time. He's actually weeing himself, his trousers. He walks past, he's got a, like a big puddle of wee all across his like crotch area. Cause he doesn't know how to use a urinal. What's that Vladimir Putin? Climax. So yeah, it looks like we're possessed wearing a turtleneck. Only people with turtlenecks can get possessed, you know. Damn, these camera changes. He looked really shocked then. Did you see that face? Ah! Uh, no! And boom! Poor old man. Wrong place, wrong time. Ah! Of course, there's a girl in the distance holding out her hand as if to say, Come here, I need you. Uh, you don't know who I am yet, but you will soon. Ah. And now I wake up, and bang. What? what? What have I done? Apparently I'm depressed now. I wouldn't say I'd be depressed if I killed someone. Woke up accidentally knowing I killed I, someone. I didn't want... I'd be shocked, like not depressed. Me. Shocked and sad. Wait, that's a restroom for men and women, so a woman could just walk in there and see a guy, like, peeing. Quick. I, I, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Alright, mate, stop stirring. It's not like you just killed someone. Right, here we go then. We're gonna move your body, buddy. Because, you know, we can't be seen here like this. We can't be seen together, I'm afraid. Poor old guy, man. All he wanted to do was... Have his apple pie, a coffee, go home, see his lovely wife and kids. But now he can't do any of that. Because Lucas here is a son of a bitch. Right, we're going to grab this mop or brush, whatever. And then we're going to brush back and forth. Brush. Brush. Jesus. Okay, plus five. I'm feeling a bit anxious now, but... <coughs> oh, Jesus. It's better than depressed, though, so it's all good. What's this? 
That's bad, mate. You're not going to get through there. Just slips Barna. on the bucket. I can't get out this way. All right, man. No! Why did I do that? Oh, crap. All right, let's hide the knife. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Watch out, honey. That dog has a knife. What? No, not yet. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, so now I'm plus five again. Brilliant. I guess I better wash my hands. Wipe off all this blood and crap off my face. Is there anything else I've left? I'm trying to think. There's a blood trail going all the way here. Did we not tidy that up? Oh god, we suck at this. Screw it. Let's get out of here. What's this? Menu. Okay. I guess I better pay for that. Alright, there we go. Okay. Oh no, don't run, don't run, don't run. Too suspicious. Can I talk to any of these? Yeah, screw it. And off we go! I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Okay, well I guess we'll just run away. Can I run down this way? I have to find another way to get back home. Oh, okay. We could have just said I need to get a taxi home and we would have done that. Where's all the taxi ranks at? Oh no! Oh, subway. Subway. Shut up, you! Oh, thank God. I'm just stressed out now. Oh, I killed someone. Oh, God. I'm a bit stressed. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Okay. <laughs> wait for the police to arrive and check your IDs. I sound like I have something up my nose. Of course, the black man's driving a fancy ass car. How stereotypical of you, game. Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. They do, Tyler. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> banter? That's banter, that is. That's great banter. So, yeah. Five years on the force, I've seen some murders, but you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it. That's all. <sighs> Still don't know. I wonder what, I wonder what Tyler's thinking right now. Older, Bitch, so getting sad. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant, as if some part of me already knew that this time something was different. Oh, I couldn't do it inside. I'm freezing. But give me five minutes just so I can have a little mind lock to myself. Going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Mark. Hey, so, Tyler. What happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Okay. Uh, suspect? Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Uh, table? Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Nice. Um, waitress? Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. <laughs> His voice is like this all is the time. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Thanks for your help, Body. Martin. It's late. My voice is like this all the time. I'm going to wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. All right. When a symbol appears at the top right, you can switch characters. Press the two buttons any time to switch character. Okay. Hey, you. How's it going? I'm going to interview you Kate. now, very intensely. I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Uh, you. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. You did it, didn't you? Poor Johnny was such a nice guy. Uh, victim? Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He, he always did. ordered oh, the it. same thing and left a nice tip. 
Oh, did he really? I bet he did. Uh, behavior. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Uh, description? What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. God, you're useless, bitch. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? <laughs> Anybody that... I can't believe him? this. John was just a nice, normal guy. Oh, was he? I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. So why does he have a sex dungeon in Did his basement? Did you the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. When John they came, you mean? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Okay. Uh, here? Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? He was having a no, huge... I didn't notice anything. Uh, before? What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. She would have it told you straight away, like surely. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh! oh my God. Poor John. Yeah, you should have gone in there with him, story. seeing how it's a man and you woman's bathroom. You, restroom. The only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom. And that's when he found John. Uh, John Bazaar? Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? Did he seem worried or stressed out? No, he was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. <laughs> Do you think that you would? He's not laughing now, though, is he? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? I'll never forget yeah. that face. She's I'll never gonna forget you that think face. I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. All right, stop being condescending now. You find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll hey, do everything now. in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Oh, I bet he will, Martin, you randy old man. Good night. Good night. Don't hear you. Right, this is where he was. Okay, so we're going to go under here. I mean, over here. Hmm. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Oh dear, Lucas, you son of a bun. A book, The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Oh, sorry. Have you Garrett, not heard of like serial killers? Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Oh, I was just feeling tense. They can never win in this game, can you? Is he tense, stressed, depressed, abs? I wonder what the lowest one is. Because if depressed is there, what's the? It's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Mmm, very good. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. What? Well, so they, they, he hypnotized the waitress? Right, let's have a look then. So... I'm gonna open this door. If we hit the knife... So there's blood here. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Who are you talking to? Get Garrett to analyze it. Hang on, what does that say? What's this? Oh. You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Oh. But it says I'm a very funny guy. You're not, Tyler. That that is really weak banter, mate. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. 
No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Hmm. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Because he's a crazy son of a bitch. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, of course. No, okay. Do Why not, Tyler? Why not, mate? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. Why? You... Uh, what is going on here? Is there a knife in here? Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Oh, it's Great. here. Tell Garrett, have him check for Prince. I thought he was behind the toilet. Okay. Well, you've done a good job there, Brad. I mean, Tyler. Well done. Pat on the back. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Oh, my hey, guy's Carla. face. Hey, oh, Carla. You guys find anything? Wow. We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. That guy's hairline, though. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. There was a hobo out here, wasn't there? Hey, you. Whoa. <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or... God, that guy must be freezing, man. Did I see something? Ugh. I don't see nothing. What? I mind my own business. Uh, Enough for you? Yeah, well, luckily I got this to keep me warm. <laughs> a wine? You want a little splash? <laughs> or whiskey? Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay. Try to get some. I'm gonna go. Yeah, you're sat in the. Take care of yourself. Why is that minus five ing on me? For God's sake, homeless man! You do nothing but freaking make me sad. That sounded really. Oh, oh. The door only opens from the inside. Oh, for God's sake! No! Don't. Oh. Why? I should have just left. When I had the chance, I should have just left. Now I'm all tense and stressed out. I need a bubble bath when I get back. This guy's got his engine on the outside. Is that not like gonna blow up? I don't know anything about cars. I, I should probably shut up. Wow, dramatic turn. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. It was all just a horrible nightmare. No, it wasn't, mate. I didn't kill anyone. Yeah, you did. Look at the look at your your blood stains. Ah. Oh. God. This doesn't look right. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. Oh god, is he gonna get depressed again? I, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. That's specific, isn't it? That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Just general logic, that is. Plus ten, yes! Right, I think I'm gonna go wash up. <laughs> wash up with you. <laughs> oh, I got a telephone. Uh, is the oh, hello. Naked Lucas coming at you. Hello? Lucas, it's good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I sniff coke off uh, hooker's asses. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Wait, I thought you said you need to get ready for work. Dude, you're gonna get fired. You can't bring any attention to yourself. Where's the bathroom at? Actually, isn't it here? Here we go. Let's have a look here. And put some bandages my on my arms. arms. are covered in blood. I need to take a shower before I dress my wounds. Okay. Oh, oh <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Okay. No. Uh, 
Now I'm stressed out. There's a ghost in my house. Wait, he just sh he just didn't he take his boxes off? He's showering in his boxes right now. Okay, I'm whatever. Nice. Right now, let's get the bandages. Let's see what we got here. There better not be another freaking zombie dude behind me. I swear to God. Do I, I have some mail here? What does it say? Oh no, it's a newspaper. No, I shouldn't read it. Massacre in East End restaurant. An especially horrible murder was committed last night in the restroom. <laughs> Smash it down. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Triggered. Oh, now I'm going to feel like crap again. Why do I do this to myself? The clothes that I was wearing last night, they're covered in blood. I better not leave them there. Very, very good there, Marcus. Marcus, Lucas, going to put them down and then turn it around. Plus five, plus five, Lucas is good. I want Lucas to feel good about himself for once. He's always like stressed or depressed or freaking worse. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. I'm not tired anyway. No, I don't want you to go back to bed. I want you to tidy that crap up. This will hide the blood in case anyone comes in the room. I'll change the sheets later. Good thinking there, Lucas. Good thinking. Let's get changed. Oh, jeez. What now? New York police. Please open the door. Get ready? For what? Did I do that right? Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. Well, I've already done that, so I'm good. These images in my head. I must be losing my mind. Premonition, mate. That's what it is. Okay, I think I'm all done. I'm all done here, I think. So let's get out of here. Locked. I must have dropped the keys somewhere in the apartment when I got in last night. Oh, God damn it! Where did you put the keys, Lucas? Oh, there. Nice. New York police. Hey. Please open the door. Yep. They know. They, they've come to arrest. They haven't come to arrest you, Lucas. Right, here we go then. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? It was me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was me. I cut myself on some broken glass and I freaked out a little. Fortunately, it wasn't a really big deal. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Uh, sure. Whatever. Go ahead. Why would he want to... I guess he wants to just just in case there's like domestic abuse or something like that. What happened to your wrist, sir? I told you I had a stupid accident with some broken glass. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Oh yeah, man. It's proper emo. That was an insensitive joke. I apologize. What are you looking for? I feel violated right now. Stop looking at me like that. Just an excuse to, uh, try and butter me up, isn't it? Nothing here, dude. Told you. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to have bothered you, sir. You know how it is. With everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. Yeah, whatever. Scared. Long, Mr. Kane. What name? Kane. Mr. Kane. Lucas Kane. Plus 10. Yes, I'm neutral. I'm actually neutral for once. Right, let's get out of here now. Come on. Lucas Kane, alright, where do we want to go? We'll go to the police station. I've got this really bad habit for a cop. Once I start working on a case, I can't think about anything else. I'm exhausted. I haven't gotten a wink of sleep all night. Something's bothering me about this murder, but I just can't seem to put my finger on what it is. Whatever. Hi, Carla. Hey, I'm good. See you later. Yeah. No, not that I know of. No, not that I know of. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's my office, baby. Lieutenant Carla Valenti, Sergeant Tyler Miles. Hey, Carla. Oh, for God's sake. Can you tell your partner to pay me back that hundred bucks he owes me? 
I've been waiting six months for it now. Can't help you there, Jeffrey. Talk to him about it. Oh, You've yeah. Stop like it. You're stressing me out. Plus, you know, you're the only one he listens to. Catch you later, Jeffrey. Yeah, Jeff. Mind your own, bitch. Hi, Carla. Jesus, Hi, let me go in my office. Oh, wait, Carla. Oh. I got some results back on the tests we did for that restaurant murder. Turns out I'm a 60-year-old man. As soon as Tyler gets here, we'll come and see you. Okay, I'll be at my desk all morning. I got some tests from that hair transplant I was meant to be going to. Turns out I actually suck balls. Alright, what have we got then? Um, why would I want to turn the light on? Let's turn that light back off, please. That's just terrible. Look in the drawer, anything there? Oh, what's this? I got a bonus five. Yeah, just what I wanted. That is a weird ass keyboard. When, did, when was this game based? From Tommy, hi. Hi Carla, I'm sorry I wasn't able to give you any news for a while. I've been very busy with my job. I'll drop by your place as soon as I can to tell you about my latest adventures. Lots of lo lots of kisses. Who's Tommy, eh? It's all happened before. Kirsten. What's that supposed to mean? Oh God. Everything I do in this freaking game depresses me. All right, let's go back. Let's go into the database. I got no entry to my own. Oh God. News, weather, cold air, okay. Da 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 da. World, Pakistan, ultimate events today. Okay, well, nothing new then. Let's stand up. Oh man, this is literally a simulator, isn't it? Tyler is still not oh, here. Oh god damn it! Better try to give him a ring. Tyler, you best answer, mate. Oh, is he sleeping? Oh, of course. He's in bed, the player. With another man. Yeah. Know what time it is? Oh, shit. <laughs> Get a move on. The waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. Give me a sec, guys. I need to put the subtitles on. Yes, there's no subtitles. I just checked. How weird. Um, I'm guessing I'll switch over to Tyler. Come on, you get it. Yep, say goodbye to your ratchet hoe. Actually, no, that's his Stay wife. Stay a little longer. Mm, sorry, babe, but I really gotta go. I'll make some coffee. Okay, I'll grab a shower, get dressed, and then I'm out of here. I'll grab a shower, go to Debenhams, quickly pick one up from Ikea. Look at the way he slouches back, look. <laughs> What's this? Statuette of socks. One of the characters in my favorite video game. That is interesting. Thank you for that title. Oh, look at this. A love chair. Is this an ensuite? It is indeed. Better than Lucas's apartment. No, definitely 80s. Listen to that. Why was her sexy music being played whilst he was showering? She does not look happy. She looks depressed as hell. Oh my god. It's got 80s written all over it. Yeah, he's got that cup of OJ. Go back to bed, Sam. You're gonna catch a death of cold like that. I'm not cold. Oh, look, Sam, please don't start. I got no intention of dying today. I'm sick of living in fear like this. Every morning, I'm, I'm terrified that something's going to happen to you. Pussy. Uh... I know how you feel, Sam. You just need some time, that's all. I don't like to see you like this. You know that, baby. Well, what if you quit? We could move to Florida and take over my parents' store. We'd have a normal life. We could have a baby. Wow. Um... Take over your parents' store? Can you see me selling shoes from behind a counter while kids are out there killing each other in the streets? I belong here where I can do some good, not in Florida. Wow, okay, uh, marriage counseling is needed right now. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye, baby. Aren't you going to kiss me? No. Hey. Hey, Sam. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh... 
Carl is looking for you. Yeah, I know. So, you ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. Quite literally, yeah. You're working on it. Get it? The puns in this game are so funny. Oh god, no, not, not Jeff. Not Jeff. Not Jeff. Not Jeff. Hey, Tyler. What do you know? Just the guy I was looking for. I don't need you in my life right now, Jeff. Shit. You remember that hundred bucks I loaned you about six months ago? I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. Like maybe now, for example. Uh, preacher. Jeffrey, do you believe in our Lord Jesus Christ? Because he believes in you. And way up in the clouds, he's telling you, money has no value, Jeffrey. The only thing that really matters is love, man. That's real funny, Tyler. Now give me my hundred bucks before I get really pissed. Uh, we want to punch this guy in the proposition. Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play you a game of b-ball for your hundred bucks. If you win, I'll give you 200 bucks right then. But if you lose, we cool. Wow. You'll give me 200 bucks. That's one hell of a proposition. You got my word, man. All right, you're on. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose, because that... Don't worry, Jeffrey. Oh, God. I'll come by Anger. See, see those rings on that, guys? Guys, rings... The waitress hasn't come in yet? She won't be long. Garrett got the lab results. Shall we go? No. All right, let me hang up my coat. I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a minute. So, what do you want to start with? Uh, the knife? What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They matched got some good prints off it. And glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. Uh, blood in the stall? What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. He pooped blood. The blood wasn't from the victim. It was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, coffee Did cup? Did you find anything on the coffee cup? The only prints we found belonged to the waitress. That's impossible, man. That cup was half empty. Somebody must have drank it. Yeah. Were there any prints drank it with on gloves? the book that was under the table? Yep, and they matched the ones on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. Book. <laughs> definitely his book. Okay, man. Awesome. We've so, got... what do you think about all that? I, I think you're goddamn crazy, Jeff. Stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during the struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. Why would he <laughs> Why do not? that? You get clumsy fools in every other profession. Why not killers? <laughs> Didn't know that was a profession. The explanation, Garrett. Uh, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing. You figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. Yeah. See you later. Here's not helpful at all. So, what do we do now? You go take care of the composite. I'm gonna go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. When Marcus and I were kids, we were inseparable. He's the one who took care of me after our parents died. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But became he's still a priest. the only person I really trust. The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. You're gonna tell a priest? I'm happy to see you. I missed you. Hey, I'm still neutral. Two years. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened at a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. Wow. My God. My God. I can't believe this. Wow. Is. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of something like that. Uh, wrists? There's this, too. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. Uh, I don't know if they mean anything. Listening to Morrissey records. Details. This murder? I exactly how did it happen? Well, after work last night, I stopped at a little diner to get something to eat. I read a book at my table, I think. And after, it's just a black hole. I don't remember anything. Right up until I found myself in the toilets with a knife in my hand. It was, it was horrible. I can imagine. Uh, drugs. Have you been drinking or taking drugs? 
You know that I don't do that, Marcus. Uh, who knows? Who else have you told all of this to? No one. You're the only person that I can trust. Powers. There's something else you need to know. I know this sounds crazy, but after the murder, I, I had these premonitions, like I was seeing things that hadn't happened yet. Uh, visions? While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or, or rather someone. Was somebody else there with you? No. no it was it was like a sort of vision. I saw Say it any louder, Lucas. Of of I killed someone. And, and there was this little girl. What happened to me, Marcus? What am I supposed to do now? You know me better than anyone, Marcus. Help me. Uh, that's a bit of Lucas, a... I, I'm a bit lost here. This whole story is just so bizarre. Tell him me. Uh, sick? Maybe you need some professional help. Most cases of possession are known to actually stem from psychiatric... Marcus, <laughs> I don't have a psychiatric problem. I'm not crazy. I am a priest, Lucas. The fact that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Wow. Lucas, don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. It's Dr. Phil. Uh, convinced? I'm not a murderer, Marcus. You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I what would that I'll, be? I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Oh my god, Marcus, really? You know that I don't believe in all that. Ah, uh, screw it, I'll take it. Oh, I got a life. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> I see him cross eye for some reason. Staring at him intently as he walks off in the distance. God, what's happening now? Why was that kid doing that in the first place? He's gonna slip on the ice. I've gotta stop him. Hey, you! The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I gonna do? Just you gotta save him. God damn it! Jump in. Oh god, it's icy as hell. Icy as hell. Come on, Lucas, swim like a fish. He's lost consciousness. I love how calm he is about this. Gotta go back up before I run out of air. <laughs> He's saying it out loud. Underwater. Come on! Come on, you. Up you get. Don't die on me now, kid! Oh, I'm dead, ain't I? I'm dead to death. Oh, no. Right, up we get. Come on, perform CPR on him! Someone! Uh... Is he breathing? He's hard. No longer beating. Quick, maybe it's not too late. Come on. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, okay. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two. It sounds like one, Keanu Reeves. Two, three. Come on, don't die on me now, one, Timmy. Two, three. <coughs> yeah. Troll three, two, four. Kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage. The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. <laughs> All right. Cop State the office. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided Stop I Stop looking at him really I weirdly. Life and given one back. Nothing really changed for me. I was still wanted for murder by the police. But when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again. What are the chances, though, without cringing? Wow.
Right, guys, I'm going to leave this one here because um, this is a pretty long episode. But if you guys want to see more of this game, then let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe for more games like this and other little indie games as well. Thank you for watching, guys, and bye!